hey, what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Well, today, let's take a look at what I got for the old Super Nintendo. One of my favorites. Grew up with this as a, I guess a young teenager when this came out. Had a lot of fun with it. Loved the, some of the early games that come out. Mario World, Pilot Wings, F-Zero, Zelda, Act Razor, that was a good one. Just a lot of great games. And I've picked up several, or collected several back through the years here, because it is one of my favorite systems. So let's see here. I got a reproduction of Demon's Crest. Not the real thing, of course, in a translucent black cartridge. Picked that up pretty recently here from Josh Moore. I've played it already, man. This is fun. A lot of fun. I guess you would consider this a reproduction. I guess. It's an English translation of Secret of Mana 2 in a Super Nintendo cartridge. Of course, it was only released in Japan, but this one plays in a regular Super Nintendo and is in English, so I guess it would be considered a reproduction. And then I have a hack here, Legend of Zelda Parallel Worlds. That was tough. <laughs> uh, got the Super Game Boy. It's always pretty handy to have. Really good way to play all your Game Boy games on the TV there. Of course, anytime you buy a box of Super Nintendo games or you get a lot off eBay, you're going to pick up sports games on them. Not that they're all bad. Some of them are fun. We're playing. I got a couple here. Super Play Action Football and ESPN Baseball tonight. I don't really know much about them. <laughs> and here's one for the Super Scope Battle Clash. I'm looking here right now. This game lists for $3. And it's a fun Super Scope game, but you have to have the Super Scope to play it. It's the only way. Zoop. Eh. Monopoly. I love Monopoly, but nobody ever wants to play with me. And guess what? Neither does the Super Nintendo. This is only a two-player game. You can't play by yourself. Not even the Super Nintendo wants to play Monopoly with me. Super Pinball Behind the Mask. Decent pinball game. A couple of Looney Tunes games. Roadrunner, Death Valley Rally, and Tasmania. I can see here that Tasmania it was one of my wife's games when she was growing up. I've got several of hers here. That's pretty cool. I don't really care for either one of them. But. Uh, <laughs> Shaq Fu. <laughs> I got it because of what it is. Just to say you have one of the worst. Here's another Super Scope only game. Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge. This one lists for $7. And it's a fun game. But you gotta have a Super Scope to play. RPM Racing. Radical Psycho Machine Racing. Yeah, it's not RP Pro Am. Jungle Book. That's a pretty fun one. Paul's 3D. No. <laughs> We're back. The dinosaur story. <laughs> Jungle Strike. Now this is another one of my wife's games. It's pretty fun. Super Tennis. Actually a pretty decent tennis game. Revolution X, featuring the music from Aerosmith. Now some people on some websites are going to try to tell you this is a Super Scope game. No, it's not. I think it works with the Lethal Enforcer's gun, but not the Super Scope. Believe me, I tried. <laughs> Just to make sure. Super WrestleMania. This is another one of my wife's games. Wrestling games didn't really get good until the 64 start getting good I should say. Oh Scooby Doo Mystery Scooby Doo Mystery All the Scooby Doo games are fun. <laughs> it's 
Speedy Gonzalez, Los Gatos Bandidos, the Cat Bandit. That's a pretty fun game. Little platformer. Paperboy 2. <laughs> I like Paperboy. Paperboy 2 is even a little better than the first. And one of my favorites, Pilot Wings. Oh yeah, love that game. Lion King. Stage with the giraffes. Toy Story, pretty good little platform. And this is one of my wife's games. She had several. So we got two Super Mario Worlds here, of course. One is my wife's game. And I guess I picked up another one. Krusty Super Fun House. I remember renting this a lot as a kid. Well, I don't say a lot. At least a couple times, more than once. And I really like this. And I've come across it as a collector, picked it up. I enjoy putting this in every once in a while. Final Fight. Great arcade beat em up. Super Nintendo is a little lacking here and there, but still a decent port for one player. <laughs> Animaniacs. Fun little platformer. Super R type. Man, all those space shooters are so hard. They're really fun, but gosh, they're so hard. Speaking of hard, <laughs> Super Empire Strikes Back. Man, a lot of fun, but gosh, it's really hard. And then I have a sports game completing the box. Red Hole Hockey. It's not a bad hockey game. This one's kind of a third person behind you. A little different from most before it. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> kind of going in the order of value here. Going up the chart. I don't have anything too crazy. If you want to see a great Super Nintendo collection, head on over and check out 123 Gamer Man. He's got a lot of cool stuff. And here I got Tiny Toons Buster Bust Loose with the manual. This is a pretty fun game. It's from Konami. Final Fantasy The Mystic Quest. I really like this one. I have completed it before one time when I picked it up, played through it. A little different, a little easier than most. Time Slip. This is a pretty fun running gun game, but it's no Contra, but it's still pretty fun. Mortal Kombat 2. I'm not as good at Mortal Kombat 2 as I am 1 and 3, but I still like it. Mario Paint. Just picked that up recently from Dad Racer. Let's go check him out. Got Pinocchio. The hell? No, just Pinocchio. <sighs> There's better platformers. <laughs> Super Star Wars. Got the manual here for that. This is a fun game, but really hard. I know I beat this back in the day, but I want to say I used some kind of code or something. I can make it a long ways when I sit down and really try. But man, it is hard. Now here's a game I really like that you don't really hear much about. Young Merlin. This is a really good adventure game. I have the manual without the cover here. <laughs> Somehow the cover has gone missing. I don't know that it had it when I got it. But Young Merlin is a very good adventure game. I guess you could kind of go along with Zelda or something like that. There's a lot of elements of Zelda in it. This is pretty cool. If you've never played this, you need to check it out. It's not that expensive. Fifteen bucks for this. And it's pretty fun. The Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare. No. 
Super Mario All Stars. And this is my wife's game and her manual from when she was a kid. Super Mario Kart. This is one of the few things that's actually my game from when I was a kid. It still has my name across the bottom when I wrote it on there years ago as a kid. Uh, this one, I have two Super Nintendo games, you'll see the other one in a minute, that were actually mine, that I somehow hung on to, got put into a box of stuff, because they were among my favorites, and this is one of them, so cool to have that in the collection. And here's another one from my wife's collection, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and her manual. <laughs> Super Return of the Jedi, and I've managed to pick up a manual for that somewhere down the line. So I have all three of the Super Star Wars games for the Super Nintendo and they're all super hard, <laughs> but a lot of fun. Here is Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. <laughs> Man, the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy for Super Nintendo is awesome. So here I got a Dungeons and Dragons game, Eye of the Beholder, and I have the box manual for it. And also the cellophane is on this game. It has just been opened on the one end. So I got a cover to put around it, to save it. Don't know that that makes it worth anything else, but it's just cool to still have that. Like I said, whoever I got it from, it was just opened on the one end here, and the rest of it was left. I've not played this, I put it in and seen what kind of RPG game it is, and I've just not found enough patience to play something like this in a long time. <laughs> Another space shooter, Phalanx. Man, this is hard. Oh my goodness. It's fun, it really is. Man, it's hard. Now here's a fun one Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures. I have to say this is very similar in gameplay to the Super Star Wars trilogy. It kind of feels like that. It's just Indiana Jones. And it's about as hard as those two. But man, it is fun. This is a great game. Let's see what this... This one's $34 right now. Probably not going to get any cheaper. Super Punch-Out! It's a really fun game. It's just not as good as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. This, the gameplay is not as fluid. I don't know. It's just harder to pick up, I think. Here I got another one of my wife's games from when she was a kid. Eek the Cat. <laughs> and manual. I've played this a few times. <laughs> it's strange. you got to kick the old lady around and move her past all the obstacles. It's, I don't know. Super Castlevania 4. Awesome game. And then here's the other one I have from my childhood. It's actually mine, and somehow I kept the box and the manual and everything for this. The first Mortal Kombat for Super Nintendo. No blood. <laughs> but I didn't have a Sega Genesis. I only got to pick one. I picked Super Nintendo. <laughs> so this is the one I got. It's a really fun port of the game, and for whatever reason, this is the only box I kept out of any of the games that I had as a kid. It was Mortal Kombat, and I still have it, so that's really cool. And here I've got a complete box copy of F-Zero, one of my favorite racing games of all time. Love this game. Put hours and hours into this as a kid. Have beat it on Master, not a long time, but... I used to do it. I'd be lucky to be it on expert now. <laughs> and here's a fun one. Turtles 4, Turtles in Time. One of the coolest beat em up games ever. Love this, got to play this a lot in arcade, had it camp down. It's awesome. And here we got Donkey Kong Country 2. Completing the box. I uh, picked this up as a collector. I actually got all this separate. Picked up the game first and then the box and the manual later for a complete set. Like I said, the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy is 
really fun really really fun so next as we go up the chart would be the super scope but not just the game the whole thing completing the box this in here if you want to see it in action I got some videos on it and more coming on the way this was a lot of fun. I had one of these as a kid. This is not it. I had to buy it back. Come across it at a pawn shop one day. Gosh, when I was out on a sales call somewhere, I stopped by a pawn shop just to see. <laughs> wonder if they got any games in there. Sure enough, this was sitting on the shelf. I think I got it for 45 or 50 bucks back then. There's a little more than that now. So the Super Scope's really fun. It's better have plenty of batteries sitting around if you're going to play it. <laughs> and I need a CRT TV. So next, as far as, I don't know, it's a little, it's a little jinky here with the prices and stuff. Here's The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. I have a complete in the box copy here and a couple other copies that I picked up just because I love the game so much. My wife got me this a few years ago for my birthday. And it's got everything in here, the manual, the map, and the tips and secrets little fold out pamphlet is in there. So that's pretty cool. But as far as the game, that's not the most valuable one I have. That would be another one from my wife's childhood. Some crazy game here called <laughs> Mr. Nuts. So funny little story. When she brings all this over, I'm looking through her stuff and I come across this. I'd never heard of this. Never seen it before. <laughs> I pick it up and I'm looking at it. It's kind of cutesy art, cutesy graphics, it looks like a little kid's game. And she says to me, this game is hard. I said, I'm looking at it like, ain't no way here, put this in. I'll beat this in 20 minutes. That was 20 years ago. And I still have not beat this game. This game is stupid hard. Oh my God. She was not kidding. But it is fun. It's a really fun platformer game. Controls really well. But man, the stages. You gotta go all over the place. There's like dummy exits. You'll get to the sign and think it's the end. But nah, this is not it. You gotta go work your way and find some little hidden area to go up through and work around this way. And it is really tough. But it is fun. I have to do a video on that pretty soon. So I guess the most valuable game I have for the Super Nintendo is Donkey Kong Country. I know you're thinking, wait, what? How is Donkey Kong Country the most valuable game you got? Well, it is. As long as you got this to go with it. <laughs> so I have here, I have everything with it, I'm not in it right now, because it's I have two Super Nintendo set up in the game room, and this is one of them. They do have everything for it, all the manuals, the controllers, the original plugs. This is the Donkey Kong Country Super Nintendo Edition. Pretty nice box here. I need to get a cover for it so it quit getting dusty, sitting on the shelf. <laughs> I picked this up from a guy at work several years ago found out that he had a Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and 64 completing the box in his closet that were his daughters when she was growing up. And she had already been to college and was married and had kids. So I started hounding him about it. And he's like, I don't know, maybe she'll want it one day. And then one day he comes in and he's like, well, you know, I thought about it. I asked my daughter if she wanted that stuff. She said, no, go ahead and sell it if you want to, Dad. He said, I remember this was several years ago. It was probably eight, nine years ago. He said, I'll take $125 for it. And at the time, that was, it was a decent deal at the time. It might have been closer to 200 the value of all three at the time. I, I said, okay, I'll do that because I, I really wanted them. They look cool. All three boxes look good. I didn't even realize, I mean, he didn't know to tell me that it was the Donkey Kong edition. When I got it, it was like, oh, wow, that's cool. The Donkey Kong version. Didn't think nothing of it then. This is uh, pretty expensive if you try to buy this now. So I got really lucky and got a deal in it years ago. 
pretty cool. Looks good sitting on the shelf. So there you go, that's what I've got for the Super Nintendo. Not a whole lot. I don't know, about 60 games there or so. And the box there for the system is pretty cool. But I love the Super Nintendo. Glad to have all the ones that I do have. Very fortunate to have them. There's a whole lot out there I wish I had. But I do have the Super Nintendo Classic Mini System. I've got a lot of stuff on that. But, but it's not the same. Playing the emulation is just not the same. But thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me for a few minutes today. I'll see you next time.